It's that time of year again, another mancation. We're heading up to the lake as always. The crew this year is myself, uh, Jacob Zalewski, Stephen Harvey, and Joel Brunson. Familiar group of guys, just maybe slightly heavier, slightly more bald. Also looking forward to humiliating Jason at uh, board games. That's always a highlight of the trip. I think it's just gonna be more of the same. We're gonna have boat day. We're gonna have a stop at the Amish market for snacks. Once we're at the Amish market, Jason can stop talking about going to the Amish market. You know what would be really cool would be if we had like a light, probably a green one. We could put it in the water and look at fish. Uh, Jacob, he's being ornery as always and packed so much stuff. I mean like Victorian era lady steamer trunks worth of stuff. Still looking forward to spending time with the guys. Um, just getting out of town. This year we got a first aid kit with the, what's it called, a Turner kit? Turner kit. So things are gonna get crazy, I guess. Oh yeah, Sarah has very high <laughs> expectations for manly crazy activities this weekend. I don't know what she thinks we do. So Well, here we are at the Amish market. We just stopped. This has become a favorite of ours to stop here and get these awesome pretzel rolls. What'd you get, Joel? That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Steve, what'd you get? You want to see? <laughs> cheese steak. Cheese steak. And Joel, uh, Jacob? Uh, ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. So we're eating well and having a great time and the weather could not be better. So we're going up this super sketchy gravel road to get fireworks for this weekend. It's Jacob's idea. Yeah, I didn't pick this place though. We'll see if this works out. Oh, uh, we're all gonna yeah. What do you think, Jacob? Cool place to get fireworks? Yeah, great pick, Jason. <laughs> we just uh, got finished buying some fireworks at probably the sketchiest fireworks stand uh, I've ever been to, but I've never bought fireworks not, before. It wasn't even a stand, it was a shipping container in somebody's yard. Yeah, they had, you go down this long, you know, gravel road through the woods to this, what looked like a bomb shelter embedded in the hill, then a bunch of shipping containers scattered around the yard. We were all very concerned for our own safety. <laughs> but, you know, we, we got some fireworks and got out of there through the gates. You're, you're allowed to buy them. They're really a distributor. Well, you just let people roll up and buy stuff out of their sea containers and shelves that are half saran wrapped. <laughs> Technically, we weren't allowed allowed to buy them. We bought them in. We <laughs> well, only because we're from Maryland. I think the rule was you can't, you have to be out of, have out of state licenses and intend to use them out of state, but we were a little gray on that rule, so. Did we just admit to a crime? No, no, no. It wasn't a crime. Joel you know, did. It's not a crime if you don't know. And we don't really know that's factual. So ignorance is your best excuse. There you go. How much do you trust these random picks at the end of a gravel road about state law anyway? We finally made it after several hours in the car and a stop for groceries and a stop for pizza at Giuseppe's in Lake George Village. We made it to the cabin and are just digging in and enjoying our food for a long day on the road. So what what was your assessment, Joe? I'm sorry. <coughs> that was fine. I was just going to say, for a future record, the pizza at Giuseppe's is really good. We're happy with it. Good morning, this is the first morning, and uh, we just finished up a wonderful breakfast. Did you sleep all right, Joel? Yeah, I slept very well. It was cold last night. Very cold. <laughs> the blanket the blanket didn't cover, it wasn't long enough to cover my head. And my feet. I'm just full of interesting, exciting, <laughs> hilarious things to say. <laughs> I didn't hear anybody snoring. No. 
thing you had, Jason. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was very warm the whole time. <laughs> Thank you, Joel. <laughs> So today we're thinking maybe uh, the mini golf day, followed by a distillery's tour. We're here at uh, Around the World Putt Putt uh, Mini Golf, and uh, Stephen's about to try and get it through Tower Bridge. Oh, he's in the water. Thirty-three. I think I'm leading. So here we are at the very southern tip of Lake George. We just got finished with our putt putt golf session, and Good round of 18. I don't know. Sure, I won. Uh, We're not entirely I think we sure. We all know who really won. We know who really lost, which is me. <laughs> I was doing great for the first. I did great for the first four. Mm -hmm. They say the British will rise again, but they never say that about the Irish. So I don't think I'm bouncing back. On that, so. I'm just glad I beat Joel. <laughs> These people probably want an autograph from me. <laughs> <laughs> Your fans. Where's the, where's the, the, where's the paparazzi? <laughs> the paparazzi. I think this so, is cool. So, question for our audience. Are sunglass straps cool or uncool? Jacob argues. Cool. Model for us. You can't really see them, but yeah. Well, cool the, or uncool? I'm not going to lose them. They're not going to scratch. Jacob is 1990s dad cool. <laughs> He's really hit his stride in fashion. Mm. One day my new balances will be all white or all black. <laughs> no, you're only going to be in Crocs, shorts, and socks. Tube socks, socks. And sandals. Tube socks. Steven, what do you think? Crocs. Cool or uncool? Uh... Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> he's wearing cargo. So he, he, gets a judge. <laughs> he just gets a judge. He, he doesn't need it because he's got so many yeah, pockets. Right. Engineers love cargo. Like, look down. Things like <laughs> so we are going to a new restaurant that none of us have been to before called the Top of the World Restaurant at, the, at this golf course. I hope we're appropriately dressed for this, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We're getting pretty hungry. We just finished the tasting. Uh, at one distillery and uh, grab some lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody do something. This is like Today we're going on an extra special adventure. We're going to drop a light into the lake and see what we can see in the bottom. And uh, hopefully it won't be too scary. This year. So Stephen dropped his sunglasses into the lake and these guys got him up off the bottom. Oh, Jacob. Yeah, Joel, Joel, Joel tried. <laughs> I didn't get him. Throw him back in. My turn. This time you This pain saw to maybe my soul bring the peace. Woo! Holy moly, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! We 
fall for so long. And <laughs> <laughs> stop this guy! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> David Stringer, this is great! His name is Joel Brooks! Twenty-seven feet, eleven inches. Oh, 27 feet, 11 inches. And uh, I think that's something really noteworthy. How was it? Epic. It was quite a fall. It was, you got a lot of time to think on that way down. <laughs> <laughs> when your brain's telling you in the last 10 feet of the fall, this should not be happening. Our limbs will probably not make it. I mean, it's, you know it's a good fall. As soon as you convince yourself to jump, it is fall. So we just finished up at the windchill factory. It was delicious, but it was well worth it. Really, really good. And we just had ice cream milkshakes. And uh, Joel, tell us about what you got, your specialty. Vanilla malt. I asked the guy there if anybody else has ever asked for vanilla malt. Did you really ask him no. that? Oh yeah. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even seem to know what malt was. Uh, I got a maple malt. And what did you got, peanut butter? Peanut butter, yeah. So I think one of the highlights of the trip for me was uh, the mini golf. I've never played mini golf at Lake James before, although I have played before, and it was a lot of fun just to get out of the area and see something new and do something so close to winning. So no, close to winning. Jason's won actually. Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Not even the people who were there know that. <laughs> That's right. Jacob, how about you? Um, what do we call it? The light, the underwater light. At night, down the pier. I like to go and look at the pier, fish, watching the fish follow us around. That was able to see what you can't see. Not that, <laughs> that was unimaginably cool. My favorite part was jumping off the cliff. Yeah, and if like I still did it myself, it was worth it. I would feel totally emasculated if I chicken. I'm glad we all did it. So, oh, wait. I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't. Boat day in general was the highlight for me. Boat day was spectacular, particularly good boat day this year. The weather was flawless, the water was calm, so you could really get planing and have a pretty, pretty smooth. Yeah, I agree. It's a good time.